Off we go then. Uh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Tries a through ball. That'll be a throw. Who's going to make this theirs? Looks like a good ball through. Gets his foot in there. Hoisted towards the area. Well, what was required then was a little more patience. He didn't have to cross it so early. Out to the left it goes. Has he picked him out? Shoots! Away from immediate danger. Cristiano Ronaldo tries a long pass towards the front. Sergio Ramos does well there, alert. Clears it out of harm's way. Spoon forward. Done very well to intervene. Let's put a stop to that. Still goalless. Good challenge, he just stood firm. It's a long forward pass. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Tony Kroos goes short, goes long and forward. Demanding a quick ball here, gets it back. Kovacic with a long pass. Goal! Real Madrid! Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, you know, sometimes it pays off not to think too much about things, just put your foot through it, and that was a good example. Great contact, and the keeper had very little chance. Real Madrid take the lead, 1-0. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Kovacic battles to win it back. Sergio Ramos knocks it towards the front. Sergio Ramos gets into the right position to intercept. Tries the route one option. Now the pass. It's the goalkeepers to claim. And the whistle goes for half-time. It's the first half compared with your expectation. Well, the advantage might be a slender one, but all the evidence points to a, a much more successful second half. They've got so much power compared to this opposition, and it's just a case of finding that extra gear, and I think they'll power on through. Real Madrid head for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. That gets things going for the second half. Real Madrid going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. Plays it out to the wing. He's gone for it! Oh, taken with 
style. A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Real Madrid get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept, so nobody can get in behind. Plays it out to the flank. Pumps it forwards. Thrust towards the front line. Down by a lack of accuracy. He's in! And he's shown him a clean pair of heels. Well, we were unlikely to see a goal then because there were so many players crowding out that danger area. I think something very special was going to be needed. Has a look and has a go. Oh, it looked like 3 0 for sure. And if they don't get the job done from here, he'll look back on that moment and know he should have made it a three-goal cushion. Should have finished things off. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo is steaming forward. He's come loose. Promising cross. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Leon look as though they're about to make a change. of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Kovacic tried to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Tries to get it forward quickly. The final whistle. Real Madrid claim victory here, and on balance they were worth it. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.
Thank you.